You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Dayton Dissects Bit Dungeon 2. This is a Zelda slash Diablo slash Dark Souls inspired roguelike ish hack and slash. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm playing as a mage at the moment. I just got through uh, the Snake Pit Dungeon. It's a pretty simple game. Uh, the attacks, if you just walk into enemies, are automatic. But then you can also like charge up the staff, which I like to do. And there's also like a, a instant melee attack. Oh, look, statue of Satan. Wonderful. I have one in my house. Not really. My statue of Jesus would be mad. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. I know that I'm trying to collect some better loot because that is what these games are about and I think that is what keeps me coming back to this game because the gameplay is super simple. Oh my god, 20 armor, 21 in. Gimme, gimme. See things like that, it's like, okay, that dropped. I know something else is gonna drop. Gimme, I need. I roll need on everything. Ooh, more intelligence, please. I think intelligence is doing a good thing because I'm trying to build a magely character, but uh, the stats, you there's no description really. Um, there's no tutorial. I mean, it is a cheap game, and I'm sure a tu tutorial will be added beyond the the pause menu tutorial that currently exists. Bone Helm. Mm. Yes, I'll take both of these. Oh, he looks so awesome! And the bloody footprints when you walk through your the fallen corpses. I'm doing like 192 damage. That is freaking ballin'. What's down here? More caster gear? Yep. But my boots are way better than those, and my robe's way better than that. And... My head... Looks cooler. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy that. Screw you. In the upper left, you see... A heart. Which is currently glowing. Which means that I have my soul. And if I fall in battle, I will be able to go recover it without having to start over completely but if I do not have it if I die in a dungeon and die on the way back retrieving it because all the enemies respawn you have to s completely start over which really adds an element of tension to the game just like Dark Souls alright level 10 this is actually the level that I was when I started recording the last time I was more of a warrior character, and I died, and that that seems to be a thing that happens a lot. So we'll just get used to that. Mm. Are you stunned? Are you stunned by my majorly abilities? Ha ha! Ma ha! Ow. Don't hit me, bro. That's not cool. The combat is super simple, but it is frantic, which is one of the things I like most about it. And here's a bonfire, so I can restore the little bit of health that I lost. Who are you? I found you. Oh, oh my god. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Who are you? Who sent you? Who do you work for? Oh, now I've got, a, got him in the stun lock. Whoa. Once you get the abilities timed out, it's really cool. Uh, I die! Who was that guy? Grave. What do we do with the grave? Shoot it. <laughs> get drunk near it. Have sex on top of it. That's right. All of those are the correct answer for what to do with a grave. Oh! Ugh, these fucking invisible guys are really chapping my ass. Now that I've got a few levels under my belt, my mage is able to kind of stand up in combat. 
The phasing. The phasing is so good. They're like, I swing at you. I'm like, great. I phase out of existence. This. What is it? Quick cape of power. Run speed and damage. Yep. Sure enough. I would have liked to have sold that other thing. And I found that shit just by, like, shooting a bush, which I didn't really mean to do even. So this game is full of secrets and lovely things. And it's no wonder it's kept me so wrapped up. I'm frustrated by how simple it is and how much I like it. I'm, I'm unsure of how to score it, really. Do you like roguelikes? I do. Does that skew my answer? Not if you like roguelikes. <laughs> How do you parry spells? What is this? You are a, s a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> oh my god, look, they're having a, a celebration around this chest, and I came to ruin everything. Party's over, boys. Chewy pa chow. That's the sound my staff makes. Not sure if you are aware. Can I have this? Deadly shield. Six extra damage. Mm. Stack that damage. Mm -hmm. 330. Holy shit. Yeah, when your wizard starts out hitting for 20 and ends up hitting for 300, it's like, okay. I feel some progression. There's something I like about this game. If the combat wasn't so simple, I'd, I'd, I'd come everywhere. I don't want to talk to you, warrior spirit guy. You ain't got nothing for me. Oh, I got a potion. Which drops randomly to keep you going. Let's go in here. Okay. We went in there. For no reason. Chop, 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 chop. Phase, 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 phase. Gotta walk through bloody footprints. Yay! We're making art. This is art. Goodbye. Oh my god! What the fuck is Slenderman doing here? How horrifying. I do do some pretty good damage on him. But oh my god. Swift shield, 8 armor, 10 block. Yeah, obviously better. Stat scrape ban! Oh my god! Where did you go? Who are you? What? Okay, that's the forest. Well, friends, this has been Bit Thunder 2. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I'm not sure how to get inside this thing, or if I even want to. <laughs> But I hope you guys will join me for whatever we decide to do next. Until then, friends, bye bye! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.